Hello, so it's evening time, but I wanted to take a moment and talk about something before um, I forget. I also have a lot of appointments that I have to go to, and um, so I thought, let me bring this up because um, I really feel like I need to talk about this. So, usually when, since the beginning, you know, when I became born again, I asked God, um, as soon as, before I even put my feet on the, flo on the floor, I ask Him, um, I tell Him things like, um, well, today, God, you know, be with me because I'm going out. So if you do have somebody that you want me to pray for, one of your children, put them in my path. And one day... I went to Walmart to pick up uh, my prescription and um, this lady was there and um, I was just looking at some sweaters and she was looking at the sweaters and she said well I want a sweater and she's an elderly lady and she tells me um, yeah I need a sweater oh I'm gonna have um, surgery for my heart and um, I want to do it before I go into surgery. I need something nice and comfortable to be in the house. I'm not going to be able to move for a while. So, of course, you know, that's what I asked God for. So I said, can I pray for you? So she said, oh, yes, please. So I put my hands on her. And I think because I had the hat on for the Jesus cross, that's why she probably approached me because of it. I guess she was anxious about the surgery, right? Because it's heart surgery. So, so I was praying for her, and all of a sudden, I felt a hand on my shoulder. And um, I said, uh-oh. Oh. You know, it's an employee from Walmart probably saying, you know, you can't do this here or whatever. And no, it was another lady that was also shopping in the same area. And she wanted to, she heard the conversation, and she wanted to pray for her too. So she put her hand on my shoulder. And um, I kind of opened my eye a little bit to see what was going on. And I saw her also with her head bowed down. And um, I do a quick prayer because this is what happens. You know, I'm out there and I'm praying. If people are waiting for the bus, I'm waiting for the bus or whatever. So that's why I say sometimes keep your prayer short and sweet. Especially if, um, if you get this prayer request or that prayer request or whatever. You don't want to make it long. And then it's like, why are you going to make it long, you know? The thing that I do when I pray is that I say, God, help this person. This is your child. You know, they're going through this and this and this issue. And um, please be with the doctor's hands, you know, guide them through the surgery or whatever. So that's what I did. And she smiled at me. And then I look at the lady, I said, well, thank you. And he said, oh, yes, I heard uh, everything, so I wanted to join in, too. You know, I'm a Christian. So that was awesome. That was like a year ago, you know. And then I always say that to God, God, I'm going here, I'm going over there, I have to go downtown, I have to do this, that. So just bring your children, and, you know, I'll pray for them, you know. So that's when I got started getting bombarded with um, people telling me their stories and in the beginning I couldn't understand what was going on I know I had the Jesus hat on but I didn't understand it and um, I guess because they were going through some kind of stress or whatever and I was identifying as a Christian and so they would come up and say my goodness their life story in less, less than five minutes you know so I didn't, in the beginning, I didn't understand. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll pray for you. But not laying hands on anybody. And then I, I started doing that later on. So I say that, and I still do. I say, God, you know, whatever request, whatever you need for your children to come, you know, whatever I see, whatever I hear, I'm going to bring it to you. You know, I'm going to come and, and, and kicking, screaming, crying, like sometimes I've done. I think I'm really known for that, you know. 
just like the holding on to Jesus garments and he's dragging me all over the place while I'm crying so yeah that's what I do and um, that's why I said it's important sometimes to wear the Jesus gear because there's so many people going through so much stress right now you know that it gives them a comfort and then they come up to you and they talk to you and they tell you their story just do a quick prayer they say can I pray for you so God could intervene and help you in that situation you know? so today I was talking to this lady downtown and we were just talking you know and I was like we were talking about angels and I explained to her you know people think the angels are gonna come and they're gonna be well dressed and they're gonna look certain ways but that's not true you know I've seen angels that are full of tattoos you know and um, piercings and so I saw one that had a big scar on his face and he was a senior and um he was a senior, and um, are they walking around unactively, like they're walking around waiting for somebody to ask for help, you know? They're walking there all over the place, and um, especially when there's a lot of homeless and stuff, there's angels around, you know? They're just waiting to be activated, and so they could help out. So that's what I do, you know. Um, I usually listen. Sometimes I don't talk, I just listen. And um, that's a habit that I got when I became a Christian. I would not speak, I would just listen to the story, listen to that story. And then I remember and bring it to prayer to God, you know. And um, yeah. Another person, to I'm kind of like you know. Remember David was like kicking and screaming and crying sometimes to God, and um, so I, I I done that a lot of times with a lot of things. Well, the most important things that I seen that is going on, but that's what I do. You know, I bring things to God in prayer, and um, if I hear of a problem. When issue, I start, why, 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 please help, oh my goodness, why don't you help, oh gosh, you know, do you help me, why don't you help this person, you know, I give him examples after examples after example of things that he had done for me, and I'm thinking, why well, he can't do it for that person too, right, so that's my, that's my, what I do, I don't know, this could help somebody, you know, if you do want to walk with God and you want to give back a little bit, that's basically what I do. I ask God, I'm going out today and put whoever you need in in my path so I could pray for them. And yeah, that's something that we should as Christian do. Maybe you know the enemy wouldn't be so um you know so outward because. The enemy is out there now. It's like, whoa, I see so many things that they are some like God, you know, just manifest too. But they're manifesting demons. Why can you not manifest angels? Right? You show them Satan and how he looks. They will be shot. Show them Satan and then show them the angels. You know? And hopefully, I don't know, I just. I just hope it sometimes, you know, that um, what I make, what I say makes sense. Um, I don't know if you could talk to just anybody about these things and they probably will see you as, as you're nuts, you know, you're crazy. Well, God bless you guys.